This mod single-handedly has turned me from a serious farmer into an amateur dirt racer. Yay! Ah, oops. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farming Simulator 22. In total, we got 17 mods. For all platforms, we have 8 new and 4 updates, and PC and Mac players have 2 new and 3 updates. We're going to load up each one in the store, take a look at the customization, check out the slot counts for console players, and end with all of the mods that got updates today. Look at the change logs. I make mod review videos every time mods released on the end game mod up, usually Monday through Friday, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you never miss any. Your first new mod for all platforms today has to be what we've been showing off. This is the Lizard Dino or Dino 4x4. Oh man, from Solutions Modding. This thing is super cool. Yo, in the suspension, they've done a really, really good job on the suspension on here. As far as uh, specs go, we got 200 horsepower, which is way more than you need in something like this. Manual transmission, 120 liters of fuel, 74 mile per hour max speed, which is good because it's like it'll take off. Weighs 1.5 tons, so it's pretty lightweight, and it's only six slots if you guys are playing on console. As for customization, we got stickers. So we got the Blaze stickers on there. We've also got Line, which look pretty good as far as racing goes. And then we've got Camo, which allows you to change up some of the different body panels. I think that's pretty cool. Today, we're going with flames. Numbers, so we've got two different number slots. The first one's kind of smack dab right in the middle, zero through nine or none. And then we've got a second spot. So if you put a zero in front and then another zero back there, well, you can see where the numbers would come from. As far as the cabin, we've got nothing on the front. We've got a protective screen, we got a window or nothing again. I like that protective screen on there. Exhaust, so we have a short exhaust and then a long exhaust. Only two options there. Wheel setup, so we have the standard rim style one, two, three, and, and so on. You can see we've got different styles. I do like rim style number ones. So we're gonna leave it on that because those things are fresh. As far as your main color, you've got every single base game color. Doesn't matter which one you wanna go with, you're good. Today, we'll just go with Bachman. Design color. This is going to be all the extra little bits around. So in the front, you've got your axle. In the back, you've got, well, same thing. You've also got different parts around inside and everything. This is just a um, you know, secondary color, kind of more or less. Design, so this is kind of neat as well. Let's change this up to bright red and nothing changed because that is actually going to be your flames. So if I change this up to yellow or white, for example, and I go back up to the top, we could change up these stickers and all the stickers will change to whatever that color is. That's pretty nice. And then lastly, we've got rim colors, which are exactly rim colors. We start off, you got a chrome on there if you want to go with it, but you've got every base game color if you want it. Pretty cool mod, I gotta be honest with you. It definitely has nothing to do with farming, but you know what? I'm down for it, let's go. Next up is a mod that we had back in Farming Simulator 19, and it is pretty cool, I think. The small truck from Farm Central Soul. Anybody lose their boots? Actually, my boots broke yesterday. I could definitely use another pair, I'll grab those later. As far as your specs go, this is 13 horsepower, manual transmission, 80 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour, and it weighs 2.1 tons. If you guys are on console, it is 12 slots. You may say, DJ, that seems like a lot for what you're getting right here. It's just a, a broken down vehicle. Well, there's a lot more to it than just that. As far as configs on the back, we've got a bell trailer. Then we have a capacity for 4,000 liters or 8,000 liters. But you've also got an animal transport on here as well, which will do two cows, four pigs, four sheep, or two horses. Yeah. So you can go back and forth and choose whichever one of those you like. I kind of like the capacity option. Having something like this, definitely helpful. As far as wheel brands, you've got your four x four and your four x two. Basically, do you want to have rear wheel drive only or front and rear wheel? So coming out of the, what was it, center diff, something like that, transfer case, uh, you've got a piece that actually shows or doesn't show. That's kind of nice. As far as your rims, you got some 20s on there. You can also do 18s, 20 times two. Yep, definitely going with that. And then multiple different options from there. Looks like we've just got different versions of different wheel brands. So that's nice. Uh, check out 18 rim four. That's pretty cool. As far as attachers, you got a trailer hitch. This could be thrown onto the back or not a engine setup standard. You got a 25 horsepower engine. If you throw a little turbo on there, is that Cuba Nas? 
Would Dominic Toretto like that? Who knows? Uh, as far as your hub color, you've got all these colors right here. Things you would expect from Farm Central Soul. Let's go with orange for now. Main color, chrome. That's what I want. Chrome indeed. And then body design. Let's go with a light blue. Yeah. And then rim color. Lastly, brown. It ain't pretty, but guess what? This is a pretty cool truck. Next up, we got a new seater for all platforms. The Massey Ferguson 326 or the Valtra. 2617 that's right founder makes a planter or cedar evidently so let's just take a look at this right here and here we've got configs for transport wheel or standard now when we do transport wheel we actually get a hitch that pops up in one of the wheels that's kind of different and unique and neat and we'll talk about that first off this holds 2160 liters of seed and fertilizer combined weighs 1.5 tons 95 horsepower is required 4.3 meter working width, so not too bad, and 9 miles per hour, it's not bad either. 10 slots, it'll do all your standard seeding crops. Then, we got this little bad boy right here, the transport coupler. What you do is you hook this up via three point on your tractor, and then hook that little hitch up in the back to the seeder itself. So, that way when you jackknife or something like that, it doesn't hurt too bad. This is pretty cool, and it's one slot by itself. Or, well I say or, and, you can run a couple of these at one time. You can run two planters if you really want to. This will allow you to do that. Two slots for this, no color customization, and it will, will essentially double the working width of this bad boy. So it goes from 4.3 to 8.6-ish. That's not the only half massy half Valtra mod because we also have this, the MF2013L or the Valtra BDF. 1300 now this will hold 1300 liters of solid fertilizer only no lime on this we've got 200 kilogram weight 70 horsepower is required for it 36 meters spread at 12 miles per hour it's gonna get going quick basically is what all that says but there's another piece in here as well oh yeah and by the way it's five slots check this out this may be something that you want this mod for this is the Adaptation Trailer. It's three slots on consoles, no customization. But what it does is it hooks up via three point on here. You've got PTO pass through and it's a trailer. So if you got something that's a three point that could fit on here, theoretically, and not kind of go through it and is too heavy, this may be what you want to go with. I love this. I think this is super awesome. It's super cool. Yeah, just nice, easy, really neat, cool, awesome. Adjectives, yeah. Got another new one for you for all platforms. This is the Stara Estrella 32. 7,000 at 68 liters of seed and fertilizer combined. It weighs 23.8 tons, making it one of the heaviest things in the game. 380 horsepower required, 14.4 meter working width at 11 miles per hour. You got Trellebark T421s on there, and there's 21 slots on consoles. A little bit high, especially for no customization, but it is what it is. One of the neat things about this is it is a direct drill. And if I back out, check out all of the crops you could do with this. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, sorghum, cover crop, grass, corn, sunflowers, sugar beets and cotton all of the above that might be one of the most overpowered planters in the game but it weighs a lot and you're gonna need a lot of power go 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 next up we got a new trailer for you guys this is the lizard gd4 30 hs this is from jen's elm and they actually have another mod that came out today that is the pc only variant of this so uh, pretty much everything will be the same for that, except for the, uh, well, the name, of course. Lizard! 23,000 liter capacity, which is pretty good for the size of it. 7.5 tons, so it is kind of heavy for what it is. And it is six slots. It is going to hold everything. So ever, all your solids, if you got grass or if you want to do some carting with this, you can do it all. Wheel brands include Michelin tires, which look fantastic. We also have Trelleborg tires, Nokians, and back in again. And it doesn't look like any of those can be swapped. So whenever you select the wheel brand, that's the one you're going to get. Toolbox, normally those are on the front. Yep, just the one up there on the front left-hand side. Mud flaps, you got them in the front. 
Got them in the back, and say lizard on them, and then both decals. So we've got back, front, and then we have back sides, back, front, and sides, white front, white sides, white front and sides, black front, black sides, black front and sides, white. You get what I'm saying. Um, there's uh, one thing to note about this. Can't take those logos off completely. So it is lizard farming through and through. And lastly, your main color, you have yellow, orange, gray, black, and white. If you're looking for something a little bit smaller, maybe this will fit the bill. The Lizard 4T. This holds 4,000 liters of all bulk crop, weighs 1.2 tons, and it's only four slots on consoles. Now, we can increase that capacity from 4,000 up to 8,000 and back and forth between the two. One thing to note, there's no Bell trailer version of this. Do we have a trailer hitch in the back? Doesn't look like, but let's see if we can add one. So attacher type, we have upper attacher and low attacher, which doesn't change anything visually, but will change depending on how you connect it. As far as your chassis color, we got red and green and that's it. And the rim colors are green, red, and gray. So this is definitely trying to gear itself more towards a little bit of an older equipment and or more just basic equipment, I guess, overall. Not bad though. And your last new mod for all platforms today is a bunch of them, actually. This is the Cow Farm Pack. This comes with not one, not two, not three, but four different sheds and four different animal pens as well. We're gonna take a look at all of them. First, let's just go with the animal pens themselves because I'm sure you're gonna wanna know about these. We'll kinda go up a little bit so you can take a look here. We'll jump into the store and take a look at those there. Animals, and of course, in cattle. Here's your largest one, so big cow barn. Another thing to note, all of these go in small little increments and every other one when you get it is off center a little bit it's very annoying but i don't know if there's anything you can do about that nonetheless it holds 300 head of cattle then we got a smaller one right here 200 head of cattle but it's only 180 grand that ain't too bad i'll be honest with you that ain't bad at all and then we've got some smaller versions as well so now uh, you can see boom there we go smallest version here 30 head of cattle and then we've got one oh pop back over again 60 head of cattle. So we've got that there. And then you've got your four buildings, which can be found in buildings and placeables, et cetera, et cetera. You've got a area right here, which has to be reset again. This has got a, um, a shop in it. And we've got a smaller version right here, the animal or open shed. We got one right now and then one over here. Very cool. Looking good. Let's jump down into uh, the ground. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. Open sesame. They're looking pretty good inside, very basic. It's all concrete, and open, metal, all the little bits and pieces around. Looks like we got a manure spot there. That's kind of neat. Uh, slurry, I'm going to guess, over there. And then um, everything else threw around towards the front. Similar things here on the other animal pen as well. I mean, it looks good for 200 head of uh, cattle. Not awful. It is a little bit large, but it is what it is. This one holds 60 again, reiterating that point. Oh, it's just new things that you can kind of build onto your animal area a little bit and kind of make it look good, make it a little bit different. Plus, with the extra buildings and the extra sheds that we've got here as well, you can really take these and make it your own. It does feel a little bit European, it's not really American styling, at least that I'm feeling, but you know what? You might be able to make it work just fine. Some great stuff here. Just use your imagination, that's all. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. First is Backroads County from FSG Modding. This is version 1.002 of the map. They've increased the storage capacity in the productions. They've added field access to cow pastures, edited production unloading triggers for easier unloading, added missing collectible, added shop road access to farm nearest the vehicle dealer, fixed the game breaking issue with the trees in fields 26 and 27, and this does require a new game save. Another map update today is Umbrian Valley from Gamer Designs. This is version 1.003 of the map. They fixed the height of the trees so stumps may be more easily removed and no new game save is required. We also have an update to the bank RD690 version 101. They've added a rear hitch and a trailer. And your last mod update for all platforms today is the New Holland T7 series, Blue Augen modding version 1.4. 
Models have been rescaled, new details have been added, wheel options have been re-edited, and some visual problems have been fixed. Making our way into some new mods for PC and Mac players today. The very first one is, well, it's that trailer that we showed off for all platforms, the Giant GD430HS. It's the exact same specs, exact same wheel setups, toolbox, mud flaps, decals, all around, looking good. Main colors are all exactly the same as well, and tires are the same. So. Nothing new, nothing different here. Just a name brand, that's all. And your only other new mod for PC and Mac players is the Compost add-on. This is a mod which adds compost functionality on all maps and is compatible with precision farming. The add-on also includes a factory as well as a container for compost. It is important to disable the buy manure option of the worker because it ain't gonna work if you do it like that. Compost is supported in manure spreaders, trailers, shovels, and manure forks. Making our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players, the first one is Multimap version 1.1. New production pulp mill, new production special feed, and leavening agent production. All power generators in the generators category can receive a display. The wrench has been removed. Added translation for liquid fertilizer tank and herbicide tank. Added Spanish and Russian translation. New cattle pastures at the cattle dealer for purely decorative purposes and a mod or mod, mod rev revamp from version 1.2.0.16 is required for the automatic power distribution a new save game is required and i think i need a new brain next mod update for pc and mac players today is better contracts version 1.2.4.2 lazy npcs leaving more work for contracts can be configured on and off maximum number of active contracts is configurable indicator for active contracts with borrowed equipment Clear and new contracts button in multiplayer games only work for master user, and they recognize the FS22 dynamic mission vehicles. And your last mod update for PC and Mac players in the last mod today, Simple Inspector from JT Sage. What I did? Version 1.0.1.9. They've added dev levels as so optional, default is off. Added Polish translation, bug fix for fill level was off when trailer limit was on in some cases, and they reworked several subsystems you're going to need to reset your systems for these. Well, guys, that is it for today's mod video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the GoHand fam. Make sure the notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of, we've already released farm sim news for today. I'll link it in the first pinned comment below. We talked about the versatile Big Roy getting scanned. Oh, that's exciting. As well as a new mod from Custom Modding. You don't want to miss it. I'll be set. Hope you have a good one. We'll see you guys later. Peace.